Hi everyone, welcome to this Jupyter Notebook installation and Docker container. I will guide you step by step through the building. Now I'd like to mention that we do have a sponsor for this video, and that is mrlog.com. That will be great. If you all can check them out using the link in the description section below and support the sponsors, I'll be using their services to store important information about this tutorial that you can access later. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. To install Docker, go to docker.com and click download Docker Desktop for Windows. This installation will require restarting your computer. Open the executable file to start the installation of Docker. After the installation, click on Close and Restart. This action will restart your computer. After the reboot, you must accept this agreement by clicking the Accept button. If you still do not install WSL Kennel, you have to install it now. In the description of the video, you will find a video to install Docker when you still don't have WSL Kennel. Now that Docker is installed, let's install Jupyter Notebook. Open Windows PowerShell and run the following script. Notice that this script has a parameter Jupyter token that you will use later. You can put here any value that you want. In our case, I will use my star log. This script will install this image that have all common packages pre-installed like Python, NumPy, Pandas and Machine Learning Library, that we will use later in future tutorials. So now let's press enter to allow the script or command execution. After the installation is complete go to Docker and the containers icon, where you will see Jupyter running. Click on the port to open Jupyter Notebook and enter the token you put during the script execution, in our case Mastarlog. You can customize the appearance of your environment by doing this. I will select the Jupyter Dark, and the current theme will turn dark. Now I will copy the script executed, and I will store it in Mastarlog.com, so you all can have access to it. I will open mistarlog.com and sign in since I have account already. Here I will be able to create a new solution where I will store the script. I will give it a name and description and paste the script in the script section as a box type. As a last step I will make it public accessible so anybody with this link can access it. It is a good practice to store scripts like this in case you need to use it in the future again. In the video description you will find the link to access the script that we ran here, if you just want to do copy and paste to replicate what we did in this video tutorial. Thanks for watching.